Hey. 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 Welcome. Hello, we're Hemlock. And it's Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. And um, we're here to have some fun and do some stuff tonight. But um, for us to get started, um, we do need a suggestion of a location. Um, so just put that into the chat. Location can be anything from like library to laundromat, not those. Maybe those if you want, whatever, that's cool. Just tell us where we're gonna, where we're gonna hang out. And um, yeah, in the meantime. Um, There's those links, right? Those links, yes. Thank you, Sammy, those links. <laughs> We've got some links at the bottom. One of them is for the Magnet Theater. Um, so, you know, go ahead, throw some support that way. And the other one is for Black Lives Matter. So go ahead, support that one as well. Throw some cash that way. Um, and we have Jelly Belly Factory. Ooh, Ooh, yes. I love it. Oh Amazing. Thank you. Great. Cherry. Cherry? Cherry. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to go a different way. A different way. I just want plain cherry. Okay. Plain cherry. Okay. I mean, you promised this time. Well, look. Last time we were here, you you stole like a like you know, ten pounds worth yeah. of cherry jelly bellies. Um, I don't know how you did that. I mean, not not this time, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Don't worry, don't worry. Focus on your. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Popcorn like flavor. You like those weird flavors. I know. I like the fact that this one, like, look at it. It's it's like a pearly white, but really it tastes like grape ape. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like the ones that don't. Mm -hmm. That don't seem food. like what they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, right? yes, yes. Totally get it. Yeah. I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I like cherry. Because you know what? With Jelly Belly, it actually tastes like cherry. Unlike any other kind of candy, Jelly Belly really does capture the essence of that flavor fairly accurately. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not fake cherry flavor. It really has like that cherry taste. I have a confession to make. Okay, what? I fucking hate jelly bellies. I do this because I want to spend time with you, but I think they taste like freaking wax. I, I, know. Said it. I know. I said it. I know I said that the little purple. Yeah, those are all lies. I just want to spend time with you, but these things taste horrible. Well, and I, I appreciate that. that. And thank you. You know I love coming here. Thank you so much. Okay, I get it. I get it. So we're gonna just pretend the whole stealing thing just doesn't happen. That's fine. No, no, it was just a thing I did because it felt like it was something I should do in the moment. Cut to the Jelly Belly Research Lab. I think I have an excellent idea for the <laughs> next Jelly Belly creation. The gel. Jelly belly. It's not exactly round, but I think it's fantastic to produce giant jelly bellies of all different kinds of flavors for children and adults alike to gnaw on for days on end. What do you think? Now, I thank you, thank you again, Sharon, for bringing in your idea. I, I, I feel like I have so many follow-up questions. Mm -hmm. I just Hooray. I just feel like, you know, we've we've been open for at least a hundred years. And I feel like part of our slogan is, you know, that you can just pop them right in your mouth. I'm just wondering how this whole this whole jumbo thing is gonna fit with our just pop it in your mouth kind of vibe. Well, you know, as time progresses, we need to evolve. And, you know. People like big things, you know, similar to like the big gulp at 7-Eleven. You know, if you want to supersize something, people always go for the bigger set of fries. So why not jelly bellies? Give them an option to get giant jelly bellies. Hmm. Don't you think? Zoom over to the factory floor. <laughs> Welcome children to the jelly belly factory. <laughs> My name is Dr. <laughs> Toodles, and I have created all of the flavors you see here. Oh, 
welcome. Is, tell me, little boy, is this your first time at the Jelly Belly factory? Yes, Dr. Toodles, it is. It is my very first time ever, and I'm very, very excited to be here today. Wow, funny you should say that. I have a jelly bean flavor just for you. For me? Uh, first timer. It's magical. It tastes like whatever your favorite flavor is. My favorite flavor? Yes, taste it, child. Taste it. Zoom into Shari's mouth. <laughs> taste it, Whoa. child. Taste it. Whoa. Whoa. So this is what a human mouth looks like. <gasps> Whoa. It's a lot wetter than I imagined. Oh. Oh. Hello, friend. Hi. Hi. I'm Mystery Jelly Bean. Hello. Oh. Hello, Mr. Tongue. And I'm. Um, I'm oh. just finished from lunch. I want oh. to taste. I like your taste. The flavor. I'm oh. very happy with it. Thank you. Bring back here. out to the factory floor. Bring back Shark. <laughs> Children, now, did you feel a party in your mouth when you ate no. that one? Do you know what flavor it was? Can what I tell you flavor what? was it? <laughs> It was watermelon. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew it. Was there a flavor party bouncing around in your mouth? Yes, there was a flavor party in my mouth. Wow. Ugh. 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 What's wrong, child? Oh, oh, they tasted like, oh, like, like liver and onions. Oh, oh, I didn't like that. Very interesting, very interesting. It only tastes bad for when the child has a bad soul. Zoom into the chewed up jelly bean on the floor. <laughs> ah. 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 This, this kid doesn't like anything, I swear. What? The worst. The worst. Zoom I in just, to Aaron, zoom into Aaron's bad soul. <laughs> oh, I hate everybody. Awful. So dark. It's exactly how I like it. Yeah. I don't like anything. Me neither. Anybody. I don't even want to be here. Why am I here? I prefer to talk in low tones. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tag out Katie and Shari bring back glow. Yeah, I don't like anything and I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> well, child, I have a fun experiment for you. <laughs> Dr. Toodles would like you to follow me this way. <laughs> come, child, come, come. We're just going to run some more experiments on you. I mean, we're gonna give you all the jelly beans you could ever want. Cut to the experiments. Okay, child. Let's <laughs> run some experiments, shall we? Here, eat this one right here. It is what it is our work in progress. It is what we call a jumbo jelly bean. We're finding that only people with bad souls taste it to be very salty. But anyone with a good heart. It will taste like grape. Uh, I, I, don't I, shouldn't I have my, my parent here? Don't, don't you worry. They are in the parking lot. We gave them things to do. Don't Tag out Erin, keeping glow sidebar. Listen, what are you giving her that for? I've created my giant jelly belly. Now More than jumbo. It's giant. Why don't you just give her this? I'm sure she'll like it. Listen, Egbert, my, my jumbo jelly bean is going to be so much better than your whatever the heck you're calling yours. I Cut haven't named it yet. The lot. Cut to the parking lot with the parents. <laughs> <laughs> 
where is where's my daughter well i mean they're all inside i just now parents thank you so much for coming here your children are safe here's ten thousand dollars there is a casino across the street have fun we'll oh, be done in excuse about me, five excuse, hours excuse excuse me um my daughter my daughter's been in there for your daughter is having the time of her life you're gonna have to drag her out of here i promise you um, my, my son it's my son's birthday and, and he's in there for the very first time i I, I'm oh, not hearing anything from him. Your son is also doing just fine. Don't don't you worry. I will find him immediately after this and locate him for you. I yes, and I'm sorry, but my twins are both in there and they have severe allergies. So hmm. are they going to be okay? Are they? Yeah. Don't you worry. We put them in a padded room where nothing can hurt them. Um, nothing. No allergy whatsoever. I got a triplet, so is that is that ten grand a head to, to hit the ten grand per child? Per couple. Here I, we go. I'm I'm sorry, ma'am, you're more worried about the money for the casino. We're trying to make sure our kids are safe. Oh, I can make another set. They'll look just like them if something happens to this set. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I'm Edit. putting you in charge. Edit. <laughs> Bring back Sammy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does one of you guys have a tampon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. No. Mm. No. <laughs> Bring back Sammy. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I got one bag. I just got one bag. Again with the stealing. Ari, I know. I can't help it. You know it's a problem. You know it's a problem. All that time you spent. Don't make a thing about it. Don't make a thing about it. I already feel bad enough, you know? How many, how many pounds this time? It's just a bag. I think it's four pounds. It feels like four pounds. It could be five. I don't know. Clarissa? What? Explain it. Explain it, Clarissa. Explain it all. <laughs> Come on, hmm? explain to me how is it you have somehow managed to become a klepto. You are the best of the best, the most honest, the most disciplined. I look up to you, that's why I love spending time with you, but here you are stuffing jelly beans in all sorts of places. Okay, fine, I don't do it because I like stealing things. I do it for like the rush, you know? A little bit of excitement, excitement in my life. Tag out Sammy, flashback with Shari. <laughs> Hey. Uh, hey. You're, did I want to tell you you're kind of cute. <laughs> what? Thanks. Uh, so uh, anyway, I was uh, looking for someone to bring to the sixth grade family. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm kind of short on the $5 entry. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'd be willing to take you if you, you know, you spared me five bucks. I don't really care how you get it. Just tag out Mel. So let me get this straight. This all began because of a sixth grade crush to go to a dance. He was so cool. Like he was into good music and we both all read like the same books and just like, he but was you like- you do want to say that these dances, they don't actually like, nothing I said, people dance like this at these dances, this far apart. I know. Tag out Sammy. No, no, no but I just- I, I, <sighs> Tag out Sammy. <sighs> <laughs> I, I love that they're playing our favorite song slow dancing in a burning room yeah this yeah is really great um i'm really glad we came to the dance together <laughs> yeah th thanks again for giving me the entrance fee and uh yeah for bringing in um well you brought in your favorite snacks right because the ones they serve here are lame <laughs> <laughs>
I told, I totally did. I got something at seven 11. Yeah. Wow. I got the, the Twizzlers, <gasps> the ones you like the chocolate ones, the chocolate ones. Yeah. And the yeah. ones, the ones that like you pull the, the actual licorice. Yeah. The chewy. You just chew it. They're, yeah. They're a little gummy. You can like kind of chew them and they don't stick to your teeth like regular Twizzlers do. I know you like those. So I, yeah. I stole them. You are the best. Um, I know it's kind of soon, but um, yeah, maybe you want to be my girlfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yes. I do want to be your girlfriend. Pack out Mel. Okay. So now I understand where like, that. Yeah, I get it. I get, I get where this penchant for not only bad taste in candy, but That's also bad men. taste in men. Where totally, totally terrible taste in men. Bad. Mm. Yeah. Tag okay. out Sammy. Well, this is rather unorthodox place for a date, but perhaps, you know, I could get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is, uh, yeah. Um, this is uh, what I call home. <laughs> wow, it is very interesting. You have an aquarium in every room. I do, I do. I have acquired them over the years. Um, not all of them have fish, as you might notice, or any living creatures inside of them, but I do like how they look in the room and fill up the space. Whoa. It's a little bit of life without having to be responsible for it, you know? Tag out glow. <laughs> You know what? I admire the fact that you decided to give up stealing and just go ahead and bone the like one of the factory people at this uh, jelly bean place. He's so quirky and like so different, Absolutely. you know, from like everyone else I've ever met. Like, I was really into bad boys, and I'm like, no, I want like an older weirdo. Again, still questionable, but um, I think instead of you going to rehab for your penchant for stealing, maybe we should take you to rehab to like, just rehab your dating life. You know, like just really like, you need a detox from these really questionable, questionable characters. I Zoom, over to to Zoom over I to sorry. rehab. <laughs> We're in rehab. <sighs> Uh, welcome, welcome to our group. Do you do you want to inter introduce yourself? Sure. Yeah, I will. Hey. Um, well, I'm in rehab <laughs> during intervention um, from my friends because they all believe that I have questionable taste in men, and um, I was pretty angry with them for the first 35 days I was here. I thought they were assholes, <laughs> and then. After that, I realized, hmm, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's something to that. And maybe I'm not angry at them. Maybe I'm angry at myself. And maybe I do have questionable taste in men. And maybe I do appreciate my friends for pointing that out. Tag out, know. tag out Aaron and Shari and bring back Sammy. So I'm glad that you've been coming to therapy. Um, it's really important that you talk about what's going on in your life. And I wanna talk about the fact that you tend to be friends with kleptos and people with loose morals. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to me how that makes you feel and why you think you have a tendency to attract those types of people into your life? I mean, I just feel like vicariously, I get to live the thrill that they go through. And then on turn, then in, I get to turn around and ride my high horse and stick my nose up in the air and tell them how awful they are. So it's like two thrills in one. Tag like out Sammy and Katie, bring back Shari. And uh, can you tell me why you attract um, uh, people that like to, you know, be up on their high horse and uh, stick their nose up at your life decisions? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, one could argue that I might have questionable taste in friends, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because how could I completely compartmentalize my taste in men and my taste in like platonic friendships, right? I believe that is possible. And yes, I do have some toxic friendships. However, yeah, I do have some friends that are a little overbearing. Mm -hmm. Back out, Aaron. <sighs> Clarissa. Denise. I'm so happy that you've gone through the program. I'm proud of you. 
Um, I went to therapy too while you were away. I've learned, I've grown as well. Oh, well, that's good. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I mean, I always thought it was something you should do, but I never wanted to suggest it because you always kind of seemed like maybe you thought you didn't need it. And so, you know, but that's okay. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. I think everyone should go to the therapy. And bring back Katie. And then she broke up with me out of nowhere. I don't know. And she was the love of my life. My fishy, weird woman who loved to steal things and had aquariums in her home. Nobody I got, I got glow. <laughs> and then, yeah, I tried to explain to her that my analysis of chapter five of Catcher in the Rye, because I thought she'd like the same books as me. But, you know, I guess just like, it wasn't going to work. And then three weeks later into our second semester of sixth grade, we just broke up. Like, I thought this was going to be my girl. Tag out Mel. And yeah, I mean, I was helping her through therapy, but I really fell for her in that time that we had spent together. We <laughs> Bring back Katie. <laughs> Sharon Egbert. Yeah. Sharon Egbert, you know. You know, um, you know my name? It, oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. We thank you. we were just we were just sharing. I'm I'm the person from the research team. <laughs> I i You were I, just I, sharing your great so jumbo dismissed. idea. I get so dismissed all the time. I just I just I get amazed that even no, people, no, no. I, I'm sorry, go ahead. I agree with you. I feel like you are listen, I know I was apprehensive about the um, I know you've been underappreciated, but I, I want to say I want in. I want Do in on whatever this jumbo thing is that you've got going on. Oh my God. It's, it's going to be the next, this is going to be the next big thing. I know that we're going to make tons of money off of this. I mean, and it's just, I feel so gratified that you're willing to partner with me on this. Yeah. I, I do want to say, I do have some, I do have some things to bring the, to the table too. Oh, okay. I well, want to expand on the, the jumbo idea. Okay, like what? Just tell me. What do you think? So okay, so we've got we've got our jumbo jelly bean. Yeah. I say we we take it up a notch. Okay. Jumbo Tic Tacs. Dang! Can we do that? Do we do we own Tic Tac? Does Can anyone do own Tic Tac? No, that's a good question. Hmm. You know why, I, why the hell not? Let's just do it. Let's Apply just do it. it. Yeah. You've okay. got the jumbo technology. I do have the jumbo technology. Edit. What's up? <laughs> Hi, is this 911? Yes. Hi. Let me I'm, help. I'm in the jelly bean factory, and my mama and daddy have been at the casino now for a, a few days, and I don't know how to leave, and I eat too many jelly beans, and I have a tummy ache. Oh, well, what, 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 what's, your, what's your name? Vera. Hi, Vera. Are you lost? Sounds like you're lost. A little lost. I like the jelly beans though. I just wanted somebody to talk to. Have yeah, you, seen my mommy? you sound lonely. You, you sound lonely. You don't actually sound scared, even though your parents have been gone for six days and you're wandering around a factory by yourself. Mm. You sound lonely. Mm. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What's yours, Vera? It's purple. That's almost the same. You know what, Vera? Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. You know, I sit here by myself quite often answering calls from all kinds of people and I get lonely too. I'm glad you called me today. You're weird. I got glow. Hello, Clarissa, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm um, sorry to call you directly. I know that you're fielding you know, 911 calls, but um, you know, I just, as, a, as your fellow 911 operator, I just wanted to give you a call to see if, if you wanna um, you know, go get a drink tonight, just to kind of blow off some steam. Um, yeah, yeah, hold, hold on one second, okay? Hold, hold yeah, yeah. yeah, don't hang up on me. Cause no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna hang up on you. I just figured it would be better to call you from my cubicle down the hall. Than yeah, no, totally. Yeah, it's easier that way. 
people on the phone. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, yeah. hopefully nobody else out there is trying to call, but you know, I just, I just wanted to like, you know, just quickly find out if you wanted to go get a drink tonight, because I, you know, I just need to blow off some steam. I do. I do. I do want to go get a drink with you. Okay. 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 Cool. Yeah, I do. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm glad you asked. Okay. Cool. I got Katie's voice. Hey, Hey, Clarissa. Hey girl. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, sorry, up. sorry. I know I know you're really busy, you know. Yeah, I'm so busy. Filtering so. your 911 calls, but hey. if you want to call, I want to let you know um that uh I have the pictures from, you know, our winery trip over the weekend. Oh my god, and, oh my god, that's amazing. I mean, I just wanted to like I yeah. wanted to send some. I'm going to send some pictures your way. I have three top, top three just do airdrop. We're in the oh, same. Totally. I'm, yeah. I'm going to totally. Yeah, I know. I could have just walked over to your cubicle, but I just figured I'd, I'd do that. Like, it's them. So not necessary. We can just talk on the phone, right? We don't need to yeah. see in person, of course. Not. I know. Exactly. Yeah. And like, no. just, you just let me know. These are my top three for posting on Instagram. Okay. So know, like, which one is your favorite? Put a heart. Like, make them like favorites. So I know. Like, I Mel. What's your favorite aminol? Um, well, Tag out Shari and Glow. Zoom over to the casino. <laughs> I'm gonna win. This is coming in big, coming in hot. I'm telling you. Ooh. Oh, what day is it? I hate how these casinos don't have any any clocks. Oh. No clocks. No, no calendars. Windows. No windows either. No windows. <laughs> I'm gonna win me that fucking pineapple. Tell are, you, are you paying attention to the performance? You could win this pineapple. Oh, I'm taking your home, pineapple. I'm taking your home. Ah, I feel like I'm forgetting something though. Ugh. No, no, there's nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing, nothing else. else. Right? Just me no. and Russian roulette. Yeah. Red oh. or black. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about here. Oh. Is that, wait, did I win? What is that? No, I they don't make it very clear here if you, you want. Never, you don't know how to play. You just do it until something happens. Oh. Um, does anybody have a tampon? Um. <laughs> Zoom bring, over. Bring back spinach. <laughs> is it normal to be stuck in the molars for this long oh yeah <laughs> I, it's a process and sometimes you'll come out and guess what what they'll put you back in <gasps> yeah i i mean listen not that i haven't been enjoying your company spinach but it's, it's been three days yeah, I know. But, you know, I feel like me and you, we got something here. You know, yeah. I I will say you have been really nice company. Oh, you've been the best. The prettiest, in fact. <laughs> you know me? Oh, yeah. Oh. I like that fur around your edges. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's the mystery part of my jelly bean. <laughs> You're sweet and warm. Oh. Oh. If only, you know, you weren't up on the top molar and I wasn't down here on the bottom molar. Otherwise, I'd I maybe, mean, you know, give you a little snuggle. Let, I can make it happen. Let's go ahead and uh, tickle that roof a little bit. I bet you she'll shake me out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll try it using my fur. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to a, a date with Glow's older doctor. <laughs> oh, hello there, beautiful. Hi. How are you today, my lovely? I am looking forward to an evening with you. Me too, darling. I got something for you that I think you'll really like. I love everything that you have for me. It's a pile of jelly beans from the Aww. jelly bean plant. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Unique, Thank you. Unique flavors just for you that I thought that you would like. I made them just myself. 
Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Of course, darling. Mm, so good. So good. I wish you didn't work all the time. I know, sweetheart. I know. But there's, you know, there's a lot of children that live in our factory that I need to take care of. I know you have so many kids living at that factory. It's, I know, I know you have a lot of work. There's a lot of emotional distress because for the most part, they did not choose to live there. I know it's hard for you. I totally know that, but that's okay. We're here together now and I'm just going to enjoy your company until you have to go back and take care of the children who just live in the factory. <laughs> I was worried because I didn't hear from you for a while. I thought we were broken up. I know sometimes, well, okay. Yeah, I mean, I thought about breaking up with you for a while, and so I just didn't call you. Oh. Yeah, because I didn't want to break up with you. I wasn't sure I wanted to break up with you, and I felt like if we saw each other, inevitably, I'd be like, hey, I want to break up with you. So instead of, like, accidentally doing that, I thought I would just not talk to you for a little bit and, you know, see oh. what happened, and I'm sorry. And how do you feel now? Well, it's like every time I see him, I'm like, oh my God, why would I want to break up with him? That's so stupid. I got the low. You know? All right. Now, can you um, just explain to me this relationship that you are currently having with someone who you say is currently holding 15 to 25 kids hostage <laughs> in the Jelly Belly factory, and that's not the red flag for you? <laughs> I can see where one might think it's a red flag, okay? But it's not, okay, look, it's all about perspective, right? <laughs> oh. And that's our show. Yay, that's our show. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks so much, y'all. Um, coming up next, there's another team called I um, Freeze Frame. And they're going to be on right after us. And you can see us every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. right here on Improv NYC. And oh, you can find Instagram. us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the places Aaron has us. And improv. <laughs> yeah. That's Wait, it. You won't, you won't okay. see us next Sunday, though. We're taking a quick break. but we'll. Be oh, yeah, that's right. Because it's summer. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. We'll see you the Sunday Bye. after. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>